Number one is to own a journal. Journals are life savers. You will never know when a split second idea comes into your mind that you need to jot down. And they are the best assistants you can get. This is because journals are always there to remind us of our goals, of our thoughts, our ideas, our experiences, our lessons in life, our strengths and even our weaknesses. It is advisable that you have a personal journal where you write down your short and your long-term goals, your experiences, the lessons you've learned from life and likewise your journey through the years. For example, I have had this personal journal for over three years and it contains so many education, motivational and emotional write-ups. I usually consult this my journal whenever I feel demotivated or I feel like I've lost it in life. I go to my journal to get motivated, to even monitor my progress so far towards my own goals and to keep track of the next activity I need to look into. If you don't have the habit of keeping a journal, it is advisable that you develop that habit it now because it will be a vital help to you now and in the future. Number two is courtship before marriage. One of the greatest feelings on earth is to know that you are married to the right person. Marriage is a long-term journey and regardless of what anyone say, courtship is needed before marriage so that you can build a stable family in the future. Love does not exist in a vacuum and I can tell you that love is not the only thing needed for a marriage to work out. There should be some connectivity between you and your partner and likewise the compatibility of the both of you. It is best to marry for compassion, for ambition, for compatibility, connectivity, for love, for happiness and for vision. Lack of these factors are what lead to failed marriages. So before you get married to that your partner, you should ask yourself, what is the reason for getting married to this person? Reason always comes before love. If there is no reason back in the foundation of your love, that love will surely collapse. Ask yourself if you both are compatible, if you can both make good parents, if you understand each other. Once you take good to all these answers, then you're good to go. Number three is to treat every income as if it is the final one. People who have the mindset that excess income or profit will keep coming that way end up spending their money lavishly on less important things. You need to be mindful of your financial decisions in order to ensure a secured financial future. And to do that, you need to treat every income as if it is the last one and you're not expecting an extra one to come in the future. With this mindset, you will be able to prioritize only essential expenses, save more money, make long-term investments, prevent debt and also develop financial discipline. Number four is to keep a company of go-getters. Keeping yourself in the company of go-getters will provide you the mutual support and the encouragement you need to keep going towards achieving all your financial goals. Keeping a company of goal setters and goal getters is very important because you will learn from each other mistakes, learn from each other achievements, experiences and equally strategies. Positive attitude and courageous mindset is contagious. And surrounding yourself with the right people will positively influence your determination to reach for your goals. Number five is continuous learning. There will be no improvement in your personal and professional life if you don't cultivate the habit of reading. Embrace that habit, that mindset of curiosity and always wanting to know more. Continuous learning boosts your confidence, creative thinking and your problem solving skill. It is recommended that you read for at least 15 minutes a day or at least 20 pages a day of a particular book. It is important for me to also state that continuous learning brings about versatility and gives you an upper edge in a competitive job market. Number six is self-care and fitness. Your health matters. If you suffer your health in the process of chasing money, you will end up spending all those hard-earned money on medical bills, which is not the best. As you go about your money-making activities, don't leave out the apple that will keep the doctor away. Engage in both indoor and outdoor exercises. Get just enough sleep. Eat healthy food. Eat good fruit. Take enough water. Take some time to also relax with friends and families. And most importantly, smile often. All these activities will keep you fit, healthy, and impact your financial future positively. Number seven is meditation. Meditation is one of the most effective natural medicines out there that is good for your brain and for your body. It is important that you take some time off your phone 
and try to connect with your inner person. It is recommended that you take at least 20 minutes a day, be it in the morning or in the evening, to reach for your inner self. Research has shown morning meditation reduces anxiety and stress throughout the day. Whereas meditation at night helps clear your mind from any lingering thoughts or worries throughout the day. So whichever is convenient for you, be it in the morning or in the evening, just make sure you engage in that habit of carrying out meditation. There is just no overdose of it. You can go above the benchmark of 20 minutes if you have enough time. Number eight is to start and learn along the way. I cannot overemphasize the importance of these habits enough. I recall when I decided to open up my YouTube channel. I was lost. I knew nothing about YouTube. Video shooting, editing of videos, YouTube thumbnails, niches, video posting, and other things relating to YouTube. One thing I didn't do was to just sit down and wait till I finish learning everything about YouTube to kick off my channel. That is because I know I will not be able to learn everything at a go before kicking off my YouTube channel. I had just one thing in mind and it was to give my best financial experience and idea to people out there and also in the process create a form of passive income for myself in the future. And every day I am getting better at shooting videos, addicting them and dishing it out to my YouTube channel for people out there to learn from. This goes a long way to say that the more you keep waiting to learn everything about a particular field, the more likely it is that you will not get started. The best form of action is to start now and learn along the way. Number nine is sincerity. Being sincere is a virtue. And this is what my mom, who is a businesswoman, would always tell me as the secret to her successful business. Sincerity is very important in both personal and professional life. One of my favorite quotes from Brenner Brown reads, Authenticity is the daily practice of letting go of who we think we are supposed to be and embracing who we really are. Sincerity builds trust, it builds respect, it builds admiration, and it equally builds positive opportunities for you from people who have dealt with you before. When you happen to be sincere, people will always want to collaborate with you and tell other people of how real you are. Number 10 is to discuss financial decisions with your spouse. Discussing money decisions with your spouse is crucial for a healthy and successful relationship. This open discussion fosters trust, transparency, and understanding between you and your partner. It equally strengthens the bonds and paves way for a stable financial future for both of you. It is important that you both discuss your income strength, your savings objective, your expenditure cap, and your investment plans towards securing your future. Number 11 is to diversify your income and investments. This is just one of my best habits. The English proverb will say, do not put all your eggs in one basket. Depending on one source of income is a very risky habit that will leave you at the mercy of your employer. And not diversifying your investment leaves you vulnerable to huge financial loss due to market fluctuations. Engaging in some extra side jobs that aligns with your skill and your interest will enhance your financial stability. And diversification of your investment portfolio reduces market risk as well as maximize your wealth building potential. It is advisable that you regularly review your investment portfolio to align it with the changing market conditions towards achieving your financial goals. You are aiming to reach 100 subscribers before the end of 2023. If you've gotten value from this video and other of my videos so far, consider subscribing to this channel, like this video and share it to friends and families who will find it helpful. Want to know some money rules of the rich? Here is the link to that video on your screen now. Go check it out. I will see you there. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay well.